Previously on Terriers. I'm Hank Dalworth, and this is my partner, Brett Pollock. We're private investigators. We got a stiff down at the docks. Likely OD. Mickey would never in a million years touch that shit. You killed my friend, so I'm going to destroy you. Do you know what Lindis' lawyer alleged in there? That you and your boy Toy just planted that murder weapon at Lindis' house. We framed a guilty man. The Lord's light shineth upon us. Now. That way in the environment. Hands All the rats in the world, I have to have a cheese knob. What's the matter? You don't like cheddar? So what's in the paper? Well, George Wallace is still dead. Are you sure you don't want any to eat, ma'am? Breakfast is one of the top five most important meals of the day. You all right? Why? You just got that whole stuffed on a park bench look going. I don't know, I got rats or ghosts or rats or something. Scuttle, scuttle, bang all night long. Barely got a wink. Well, it could be worse, man. You could have raccoons. You know what they say about raccoons, right? Mm-hmm. Don't you? Uh, they're not tidy. <laughs> Come on, man. It's a beautiful day out, and you're acting like somebody just canceled Christmas. Turn that frown upside down, dude. Turn it upside down and take it to Vegas. I don't know, Brady. It's just like the bath water's out of the tub oh. today or something. Sorry, but cool. Should we get the check, please? Yes. And some lithium? Yes. <laughs> oh, rich folk incoming. Posture, everyone. May I help you, ma'am? Um, yes. I was wondering if you could put out a man named Henry Dolworth. I was told I could find him here. You looking at him? Oh, you're Mr. Dolworth. Uh, uh, yeah, and this is my partner, Britt Pollock. In a strictly professional sense. You're detectives, right? Margaret Ledford's office told me I could find you here. I need to discuss a matter with you in private. Sir. It's okay? How can we be of service? I'm here on behalf of my husband. He asked that I come find you. Oh, he couldn't make it himself? Or he didn't want to miss his tea time? He's in jail, waiting trial for a crime that he didn't commit. He said that you're the only man that can help him. That's flattering. Why us? Because you're the ones who put him there. Your husband isn't by any chance. Robert Lindis. I'm just being Lindis. He asked that I give this to you said that you could keep it as long as you come see him in county but it has to be today 600 700 800 900 a thousand a thousand bucks i wouldn't shit in this dude's mouth for a thousand bucks yeah well linda's accounts are frozen right i mean old miss linda's probably had to sell the ball machine to scrape up that much so last time this guy pointed up fifty thousand dollars for our services, right? I mean, granted we did plant a murder weapon in his home for his trouble, but still, I don't know. What do you think? Normally I'd say let's give the money to charity and let the douchebag rot. But for the first time today, you kind of look like you're glad you got out of bed. I say let's go see him. Hey, Brett. I woke up this morning. There was a real sweet smell in the air. And I thought maybe it's the old lady next door baking cinnamon rolls, but it wasn't. You know what I was smelling? What? Freedom. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I presume my wife found you and gave you... Yeah, the... yeah, she did. But seeing you here now like this, I would have come for free. Real lovely lady, your wife. 
I mean, what with a video of you bumping uglies with a 19-year-old on every television screen across San Diego. And she's still out there shilling for you. It must be true love. I was bruising Linda's. Everything the brochure promised. I know what you two did. I know you planted that gun in my study. Set me up for this. You can deny it all you want. I don't care. That's not why I want to talk to you. Yeah, I know what you did. You killed my friend Mickey Gosney. I swear to you. I'm the life of my child. I had nothing to do with that. You innocent of Anthony Bianco's murder too? No. Let's just say when you framed me for that, you got lucky. Maybe you didn't kill Mickey personally. Maybe you had those two muscle heads do it, hold him down, bump his body full of drugs, watch him die. Those men, the men who attacked you, did not work for me. Oh, what did they do? Just wander onto your construction site? They were there watching me. There are people out there very nervous about me since you put me in here. Who do you think leaked that sex tape to the media, hmm? Had my defense attorney recuse himself from the case. Do you think I couldn't beat this rap, my word against yours, with my money? Someone wants me to reside in here for the rest of my life, and that may not be for much longer. We don't have much time. Busy hour's almost over. Oh, you hear that, Joe's have restrictions? That sucks! I realize I'm the last person on earth you two want to stick your necks out for. But you're the only ones I can trust to help me with this, and I think I can make it worth your while. We're not retracting her story. I don't want you to. Wouldn't do any good anyway. I've done what I've done, I will live with the consequences. But my wife and my son are in danger, imminently so, and I need for you to secure their safety. In danger from who? Talk to my wife. I've told her everything you need to know. Please. I need you to do this. Not for me, but for my family. They are innocents in all of this. Do what exactly? Steal a quarter of a million dollars from me. Let me tell you something, man. An hour ago, the world was a bleak and pitiless place, and after a trip to prison, mm, all seems right with the universe. But seriously, tell me, was that the biggest pile of horse shit you've ever heard in your life, or what? It was a sizable pile, yeah. It was huge, man. We frame a guy for a crime he did commit, and then somebody else comes along and frames him better. What, Captain Paranoid? I mean, except about the first part. So seriously, what are you thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking, okay? A quarter million dollars. Where's he got it? Why does he want us to get it? Well, obviously he's trying to set us up for something, man. I mean, he wants us to renege on our story. Uh, we can't. You don't renege a story. You, uh, you renege a deal. You recant a story. The point is, is that he's trying to rook us, man. That guy's full of shit. Yeah, but the dude plays sincere like nobody's business. I mean, it... Makes me a little curious. Curiosity killed the cat, man. Yeah, I heard that cat had that shit coming to him. I'm not saying he had Mickey Gosney killed. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but he knows he did. And maybe it's worth finding out just what the hell he was talking about back there. How do we do that? Find out what the hell he was talking about back there. So why would you even want to know about that? Well, we're material witnesses in the Linda's murder case, you know. We're, we're just a little curious about what's going on. Huh? And why else would you want to know? Well, frankly, uh, we were thinking about taking some vacation days in the spring, and we didn't want the dates to conflict with the court case. 
Brit's never seen the Maldives. I've never been on a cruise, you know. Do you even know what the Maldives are? Yeah, I do. They're in the, up, up in, uh, they're not far. Give me that. And you on a cruise. <laughs> okay, so what's the status? All right, is Linda's gonna hang or walk? Linda's is uh, not gonna walk, and that is for sure. You sound pretty damn confident. Yeah, man, we got Linda's by the short hairs. Got them so bad that <laughs> it ain't even funny. Uh, we got the gun that was found in this house. We have three eyewitnesses that put him in the vicinity. We have hair particles that were found in the lifeguard station with his DNA on it. This office pulled three to one odds that his court appointed is going to plea bargain him by the end of the week. So, hey, what happened to the white shoe uh, Mr. Smooth Talker he had at the deposition? He dropped Linda's last week. No explanation. Sounds like you had your whole case just handed to you. Gift wrap with a little bow on top. Congratulations. Oh, yeah, man. Well, you know, work hard, play by the rules. Just get lucky. You guys wouldn't know about that, though, would you? <laughs> oh, are we done here? Are we good? Yeah. But I got one last question. Shit. What about Mickey Gosney's case? <sighs> Come on, Hank. I told you. Mickey was a self-administer overdose. Come on, Mark. Mickey never used heroin. Ever. Well, he did at least once. There was no struggle. And no bruises. The needle went in clean. Okay. What? You you want to read it yourself? Yeah. Hey hey hey, Reynolds. Could you please get these two uh, the Mickey Gosney toxicology report? Thank you. Well, hey, congratulations again, Mark, on the Linda's case. Thanks, you brother. alone, baby. You wear success well. Ah. That's a Teldehyde. What the hell's that? Industrial chemical, cousin of formaldehyde. How did it get inside of him? Junkies dip their cigs in it for an extra buzz. I read it somewhere. Got your pal's personal effects on in the evidence locker. Still no leads on the daughter's whereabouts, so there's no next to kin. Mark thought you might want to take him until she shows up again. Thanks, Reynolds. You know, there was a time when Mickey had a nice little place down in Pescadero. He had a house with a lemon tree in the back. Oh, there was just a little girl. He had his own house, and now, uh... Everything in his life's dwindled down to this. And then you want me to take off for a while? Couldn't have done this to himself. I mean, I didn't know the guy, obviously, but shit, man, he was in a squalor. Yeah, I knew the man. He wouldn't have done this, not with this little girl in trouble. And you know, I was thinking, how much collateral do you have to put down for a bail bond? Depends on the bondsman, but. No more than 50% max, why? Linda's is bail. Nobody thought about it with the judge sending because they froze his assets, right? But 500 large. Mm -hmm. Half of which. 250, is, yeah. I did the math. It's pretty ballsy. Asking guys who put him in jail to steal the money and get him out? What's that? Pay stubs from a Bateman security company. Anything unique about him? They're made out to Mickey Gosney. This one's only a month old. Hey! Marty. Holy shit. It's Ossifer Dullworth. Hey, everybody, it's Ossifer Dullworth. Ossifer? Yeah, it's what the drunks call cops. You know, so if they slur their words, it doesn't sound wrong. That's, that's kind of stupid. Hey, is that you? You know you can PC in and out, don't you? 
Hey, a little privacy, please. The last couple of weeks before he died, Mickey was scared, I'll tell you that much. Why was he scared? It's that damn job he took. He had ideas he was going to get clean, like you did, right? So his daughter's got connections, uh, sets him up with some company. Bateman Security? Well, so Mickey's a night guy, right? He walks rounds around the, uh, the site where they're building that resort. Wait, wait, wait. Mickey was working security at the Montague? Yeah. So one night, these trucks come in. Huh? Full of guys in these suits, you know, like in E.T. They're all uh, sealed in. Mickey asks his boss, what the hell? Apparently they don't like that. Next day he gets camp. And the next week his daughter calls him up and says she's in trouble. After that, Mickey starts to watch his back. joke today. You want to hear it? Yeah, go for it. So two old dudes are sitting on a park bench, right? Yeah. First old guy says the second old guy. I bet I can guess your age, right? Yeah. Second old guy says, no way. hundred bucks says you can. And then first old guy says, you're on. It's a bet. But the only thing I need you to do in order to tell your age is you gotta take your pants off, right? Right. So the second old guy thinks nothing of it, drops from. All right, so the first old guy takes the second old guy's balls in his hands. And he's weighing them, he's cupping them, he's yeah. shaking them around this side, that side, right? He says he's 78 years old. The guy says, that's amazing. How the hell did you do that? He says, ah, he told me yesterday. Okay, keep going. No, that's, that's it. Did you, did you miss the funny part? I always miss the funny part with you. I'm pretty sure I told it right. Uh-oh. What? Guy in the tan suit spotted us. Where? Right there. Where? Oh, shit. Hey, here's what I think, okay? Mickey saw something, knew something, did something that got him killed. All right? Maybe Linda's knew who did it. Maybe he didn't know who did it. Okay, but Dollar and Donuts, he knew why he was killed. Right? Right? Right. Well, let's go see Lady Linda's. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Ah, it's kind of... Stuffy in here. You AC busted? No, we just can't pay the bill. Your husband wanted you to show us something. Follow me. Bobby told me about an office that he keeps at the top floor of the first building he ever developed for purposes I'd rather not discuss. He also told me about a financial parachute that he sequestered there in case of, oh, I don't know, someone framing him for murder someday. The parachute kit is kept in a safe. My husband wants you to break into it tonight and confiscate the contents. Here are the plans for the building. I have highlighted the location of the safe. Why don't you just get it yourself? Because the police discovered the office during the investigation, sealed it, changed the locks, alarm codes. Fortunately, they missed the safe. How kind of security does the building have? 24 hour doorman in the lobby, security cameras at all entrances, elevators, stairwells, plus a patrol car doing rounds. Okay, say we break into this place with the change locks, alarm codes, patrol car doing rounds. What do we get in return? 40% of the parachute. $100,000. That's right. <laughs> Lady, we don't get out of bed for anything less than 150. Yes, you do. Plus, my husband is offering you something else. What's that? Do this, recover the parachute, deliver it to us in 36 hours, 
and my husband will provide you the name of the man responsible for Mickey Cosney's murder. So, can you do it? I don't know. How do we know Linus isn't setting us up? Why would he? Huh? He's dead to rights even without our testimony. Well, what about Mrs. Linus? How do we know she's not gonna take the money, blow town, and leave her husband to rot? Well, then she wins her admiration. I just wanna know all the angles, man. Okay. Okay, you can do it, or okay, it's time for my afternoon nap. Slurpees on me, come on. Yeah, I need to buy the truck for a while, so just leave it running. I'll go get supplies. I'll meet you back here at 7. 7? Why so early? We're robbing a building, man. I need prep time. See you then. Hi, Hank. You want to come down? Hey, so you want me to heat that up for you? <sighs> Why didn't you just tell me you were here? I don't want to be a bother. You had a lot going on. Just came down to eat or use the bathroom. Okay. So when did you leave the hospital? Okay. How long have you been up there? Three or four weeks. Weeks? At your old place first. I was in the truck when you were home. And then went in when you went out. It's nicer here. <laughs> so you were eating all my food. All right, because see, I thought I was going senile. Are you going to punish me? No, of course not. Hey, why'd you leave St. John's? I thought you liked it there. I got tired of the ward. All the people there are crazy. May I go back to my room now? Yeah, but you know, you're uh, more than welcome to stay down here. Do I have to? It's more comfortable up there. Oh, wow. You've moved more in up here than I have down there. Plus it's dark and warm. Yeah, well, we'll talk more about it later. Who is it? Um, from next door. Came to borrow some sugar. We're out. What the hell's going on? Who is that? Some man pretending to be a woman. Thank you, in there. Oh, it's my partner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on in, come on. 
Britt, this is uh, this is my sister, Steph. Steph, this is Britt. Why were you pretending to be a woman? No, no, no. I, I... Uh, she's been staying with me for a uh, few weeks, apparently. She's in my pants. Are you Gretchen's new boyfriend? No. no, no, no. This is this is Britt. He's my partner. He's not black. No, that's Mark. That's uh, my partner from when I was a policeman. You must be the one that comes over complaining about a headache all the time. I'm gonna take a nap now. Hey, Steph, are you sure you don't want to try the guest bedroom? It might be more comfortable. I did. It's not. Stephanie? Yeah. I, th I thought she was... She did. She, 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 um, she checked out of the hospital or something. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, listen, anything that's, um, just sharp, anything you can cut yourself with, just, just bag it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Katie, thanks for coming over. Do you mind babysitting for a couple of hours? Yeah, would you give birth to a child overnight? No, no, um... Steph is with me. What happened? She, uh, checked out of St. John's, apparently, but it's not, it's not that bad. But she's been off her meds for probably three weeks, so I just didn't want her here alone by herself. Sure. Uh, you know the rules, right? Thank you so much. Thanks, Okay. Right. Uh, where, where, you, where you guys off to? Well, we just gotta, um... Oh, I love you. Yeah, you know. All right, thank you. So there's, there's rules, man, for your sister. Kind, of, yeah. You know, I mean when, I mean when Steph's on her meds, and they're in balance, she's. She's unbelievable. She's brilliant, funny, loyal, best person I know. No offense. All right, it's an honor to be nominated. But when the meds aren't in balance, she it's, it's a handful. Twelve minutes that move. Hmm? Hank? Twelve minutes. Oh, sorry. It's just uh, the doctor gave Steph um, generics for her meds, and Steph doesn't react to it as well. Um, can can we uh, can we wait for another loop? What? So, man, I know you're dealing with some really heavy shit right now with Stephanie, but. I'm about to commit felony burglary. I would just love it if you had your head in the game right now. My head's in the game. Yeah. Listen, she's fine, man. Katie's there. They're probably making s'mores, having pillow fights right now. Just let me get you focused on this thing right now. Yeah, I'm focused. I'm totally focused. Let's, can, can we wait for another loop? Are you going to come visit me in prison? For conjugal visits? Yeah, sure. Hey, be good. Oh, I don't, I don't think that's a real word, babe. Usually with a Q, you need a, a U after it. Canats, above ground wells in the Middle East. Didn't you go to college? Uh, I am now, I, I'm in vet school. A little bit old for that, aren't you? You know, I really like your brother. You're not his new girlfriend, are you? <laughs> no. I heard him have sex last week, right here on the floor.
Yes. Uh, who is this? You, you left what? Where? Okay, hang on. Just a sec, I'll check. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see anything. Not now, Brett, not now, Brett. Some thief, you tried to kill the alarm by hammering it. Yeah, nice try, pal. We're all clear here. Cancel the 911 and get someone up here who can cut off this goddamn alarm. Zeppelin alarm systems, how can I help you? Yeah, yeah, uh, hi, we, we had a break in and we can't turn the alarm on. We'll send someone right over. Zeppelin alarm services? You, <laughs> that was pretty fast. You're lucky you caught me right around the corner. Where's your problem? Oh, thanks, man. You are a lifesaver. Well, thank me when I fix it. Whoever did it is gone. We checked the place. Oh, yeah. have to put a replacement cover on. Super. Now, I need to set it so I uh, need to close the door and uh, keep the room clear. Just, uh, just a few minutes. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. All right. Be right up. Thank you. Alarm's all set. Thanks a bunch. Yeah. Sorry about this. I'm gonna have to frisk you. Office is under police investigation. They're being tight asses about the whole place. I need to check your case. Oh. Okay. Have a, have a nice evening. Thanks, you too. Have yeah, a good night. She 
You know, so that's your view there before. No. Are you gonna drive at some point, please? Get you at work now. Yeah. That's so much better. You guys, guess who fixed the TV? And she hooked it up to cable. Well, of course, she's a technical wish. She graduated summa cum laude from MIT. You did? Oh, uh, uh, will you excuse us real fast? That's $250,000. could just keep these. We'd each have 125 grand. I'm just saying. What's that? Here's your card. There was supposed to be a key. My husband was adamant about it. Any idea what it opens? No idea. You have something for us, too. The man who killed your friend, his name is William Kewen. We're rich now, kind of, sort of. I can finally buy a decent waffle maker. Hey, point is, we could walk away from this thing right now. You ever heard of this guy? No. You keep an eye on her. If she goes anywhere near county, you haul her. Hey, what are you gonna do when you find this Q and guy? Yeah, what? Are you William Q? Who's asking? I heard you sling H. No new customers without refs, man. Hey, was Mickey Gosney a customer? What's the story with Mickey Gosney? Look, out himself. I just sold him the shit. Come on, man, I will poke your eyeball right now, I swear. Dude was half dead anyways on whiskey, all right? I got paid to buddy up with him to speed up the process. Look, I shot him up, maybe. Maybe I gave him a little too much. Who paid you, man? I want a name. I don't know a name. Guy approached me at night. I was half gone. I didn't get a good look. I try a little harder. Tan suit. Shades. The Mr. Spade fell. Go, 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 go. He's right there. Black fence. I'm preparing the plane. We can't let this run its course. Honey, who's what? that? Hey, where are you going? What are you doing here? You said that you were going to save your wife and your kid, not your own ass. I am. This plane is not for me, all right? Now, I gave you your money. I gave you the name of the guy who... You gave me the name of the flunky. We want the name of the guy who paid us. The dude in the tan suit with the big, chunky glasses. I don't know who that is, all right? I don't know who that is. You know what this is, huh? All right. Does this unlock something you need? Come on, man. Hey, don't tell us what that is. Wait, I'm calling the police. Call don't call the police. Wait, Bobby. Call Bobby. Call Bobby. Call Bobby. Call Bobby. I'll be back. Get in the plane. Get everything ready. Okay, I'll be back. back. Get in the plane. David, call the police. I can't believe you're doing this. Yeah. Right.
you have any clue what you're doing, huh? You're killing me. That's what. Well, once they find out out of jail, I am a dead man. Who are they? Mother. Who are they? I paid you twice. What's you're wrong with the Montague? Now. Who killed my friend? Come on. Let's go see what's so important. You can't leave the country without it. What is this? Some Montague documents I wasn't supposed to see. I, I kept them as a failsafe to ensure my safety and the safety of my family. And until you guys came and pointed a league light on my life, it worked. And you threatened to go public with it if anything happened to you. Yeah. Yeah. What's it say? You know what? Why don't you take me to my plane and I'll tell you. What does this say? your way, all right? Let's go talk to Gustafson. Oh, you mother! You never learn your lesson! All right, all right, just, just calm down, all right? No hospital, you promised me no, no hospital. hospital. No hospital, brother. Who's that? Step, get some aspirin from the bathroom. I'm gonna lie down, take a little. No, 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 no. You gotta stay with us. Stay awake. Stay awake, Lindis. Come on. Tell us what's in here. What's the meaning of all this? Huh? I don't. I'm gonna pull up here. Come on. Linus, Linus, what's the story with those papers? Why do they want them back so bad? Uh, they, they used to. They were uh, doing all sorts of tests on the earth at the construction site during the dig, and uh, they thought Eleanor had it. That's why your friend got killed. I, I think that's what it's about. I am, I... It's kind of cool here. I'm just going to stay. Just chill. Just lean back. All right. He's fine. That's okay. You okay? All right. I think we have to come clean to Gustafson. Oh, about what? About everything. Well, maybe not everything. About robbing his building. Hank, that's a felony. I could go to prison. We both could. No, but about planting the gun. He has enough evidence. He'll let us slide, but he has to hear all this. Can we please talk to Maggie first? I just want to know what our options are. Oh, God. Lindus. Lindus, come on. Hey. Hey, hey, Robert, Robert, Robert. Hey, Lindus. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, come on, buddy, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, God. What do we do? Do we call an ambulance? Do you get it? No, Steph, don't get it. This dude's dead. Oh, my God. I'm... Oh, God, you stay here. Stay here with him. I'm going to go get it. Hey, Hank, how are we going to explain this? I'll figure it out. Oh, well, my stars, look at what we have here. Stephanie Darworth. Just as beautiful as ever. Who are you? Uh, Steph, you remember my old partner, Mark? The black one. Hello. Hey. <clears throat> 
So, what are you doing here, Seth? I was just getting aspirin for the guy who had to vomit. She's staying with me for a bit. Uh, Britt had some bad Thai food. So, Mark, how's it going? Oh, man, today has been full of surprises. I mean, first I discovered that you're staying at your old place, and your sister's living with you. I mean, well, it's not as surprising as Linda's bailing out today, getting out of county jail, but, you know, you know, it's still, still surprising. Where is he, Hank? Who? Robert Lindis. Now, look, I got an apoplectic Josephine Lindis at the station house right now, and she's insisting that you and the boy Wonder kidnapped her husband about an hour ago. What? You heard what I said. Wait a second. Mrs. Lindis is saying that we kidnapped her husband? That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I didn't right. believe a lick of it either, man, but then I started to think, oh, my God, you hate his guts. Hey, poke around all you want. You don't even need a search warrant. But I don't know what the hell that woman's talking about. And if Lindis did bail himself out this morning, he's halfway to Matsuban right now, and she's giving you the runaround to put you off his track. What was that? Be my guest. Yeah. You might want to knock. How you doing, Gus? Yeah, I would shake your hand, but that. Don't worry about it. I need you two to come down to the station house to clear this mess up, okay? All right, I need a babysitter. I'm not a baby. I know you're not a baby. I'm sorry. It was just it's an expression. Just like uh, kidnapping. We're going to go out for a bit, so you have to stay inside. Okay, can you stay inside? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, hey, you too, cowboy. All right? How's she doing? She's on the She just started him again. Uh, if you want me to, I can leave a uni here with her. So. Oh, thanks, Mark, but that's okay. Okay, we're gonna be just a little bit, okay, honey? So just stay inside. 